I would like to say how happy I am to receive President Obama in my country and in my house. The friendship between our two countries is of long standing. The United States has been staunch in its support of the democracy movement in Burma, and we are confident that this support will continue through the difficult years that lie ahead. I say difficult because the most difficult time in any transition is when we think that su success is in sight. Then we have to be very careful that we are not lured by a mirage of success and that we are working towards genuine success for our people and for the friendship between our two countries. I believe that we have been able to discuss our various concerns openly and that as a result of the President's visit to this country, the relations between our countries can only progress in the right direction. I intend fully to keep in touch with the United States government as far as possible and to make sure that we always liaise with one another on the most important matters. Now, I'm told I had three minutes, and I think this is th about three minutes, so thank you all for coming, and uh, I leave the floor to President Obama. Uh, well, uh, I'll try to be equally brief, uh, although not as eloquent. Uh, I was honored uh, to be the first president to welcome uh, Dao Aung San Suu Kyi uh, to the White House. Uh, I'm proud to be the first American president uh, to visit this uh, spectacular country, and I am very pleased that one of my first stops is to visit with an icon of democracy who's inspired so many people, not just uh, in this country, but all around the world. Uh, I especially uh, want to thank uh, Anyang Suu Kyi for welcoming me to her home. Uh, here, through so many difficult years, uh, is where she displayed such unbreakable courage and determination. It's here where she showed that human freedom, freedom and dignity cannot be denied. Uh, today marks the next step in a new chapter between the United States and Burma. Last year, in response to early flickers of reform, I asked Secretary Clinton to visit uh, this country and explore uh, with Anyang Suu Kyi and the government whether the United States could empower reform efforts and begin a new relationship between our peoples. Uh, in the years since, we've seen some very encouraging progress, including uh, Dao Anyang Suu Kyi's uh, release uh, and election to parliament, uh, the release of political prisoners, the lifting of restrictions on the press, and new laws to expand labor rights and eliminate the use of child soldiers. Uh, and at my direction, the United States has responded to support these reforms, uh, including the easing of sanctions. Uh, now, as a former legislator myself, I followed uh, your role in the new parliament uh, with interest and admiration. Uh, real democracy involves having different branches of government check and balance each other, and I applaud your efforts. Uh, in that regard, particularly as the head of the Committee of the Rule of Law. Uh, in my discussions uh, here in uh, Yangon, uh, our goal is to sustain the momentum for democratization. That includes building credible government institutions, establishing rule of law, uh, ending ethnic conflicts, and ensuring that uh, the people of this country have access to greater education, health care, and economic opportunity. And uh, I want to make a pledge to the people uh, of this country that uh, I am confident we can keep, and that is if we see continued progress towards reform, uh, our bilateral ties will grow stronger and we will do everything we can uh, to help uh, ensure uh, success. Uh, I'm so happy, by the way, to be joined by Secretary Clinton. Uh, this is her last foreign trip uh, that we're going to take together. Uh, and it is fitting that we've come here to a country that she has done so much to support. Uh, where did Hillary go? Where is she? There she is. So, I could not be more grateful, uh, not only for your service, Hillary, uh, but also for the powerful message that you and Anyang Suu Kyi uh, send uh, about the importance of women and men everywhere uh, embracing and promoting democratic values uh, and human rights. So again, I want to thank you, Dao Anyang Suu Kyi, for your extraordinary hospitality and grace, uh, the power of your example, which has been inspiration to people all around the world, including myself. Uh, clearly, you will be playing a key role in uh, your country's future for many years to come, 
uh, as Burma seeks the freedom and the prosperity and the dignity uh, that uh, not only the people of this country deserve, but people all around the world deserve. So thank you for your inspiring message.